Most of the major metropolis in China count with modern, fast and convenient metro systems for their residents. However, when planning mass transit systems for smaller cities, authorities have found that subway and light rail transit systems were too disruptive. So, they came out with a clever solution. They took the technologies from high-speed railways, an area where China has much expertise, and put it on a bus. That's how the world's first trackless train was born, and it will effectively relieve the pressure on urban traffic. And right after visiting some of the coolest subway stations here in Harbin, we came to visit another kind of particular form of transportation. This is called ART, that stands for Autonomous Rapid Transportation. And it's kind of a hybrid or a combination between a light rail or a tram and regular buses because they don't have the exclusive tracks as a light tram will have, but there are also no buses because they're like quite large. They're bigger than a regular bus. This system doesn't run on proper rail tracks. Instead, it utilizes rubber wheels on a virtual track pinned on the road. It is a fully electric operated vehicle and can run up to 24 kilometers on a 10 minutes charge, meaning it only needs to install charging piles on both ends of a bus line to ensure its regular operation and maintenance. The trackless train adopts a parallel design of multiple carriages and can carry from 300 to 500 passengers at a time. It adopts a multi-axis steering system and a double head design at the same time, allowing it to do complex operations like turning, U-turning and lane changing. Some of the benefits of this one is that they can use regular road that any bus could use in the city. They have lanes, but they're not exclusive, which means they can actually share the road and these lanes with regular cars and they have a specific kind of bus stop or light rail stop as well because they're very similar to that kind. They are all electric, which means there's no pollution coming out of here. And they also do not need the lines to be connected all the time for the power uh, input, which means they have the batteries inside and they can just run for several hours covering the different routes. I think the design of uh, this transportation mode is quite cool. You cannot actually see the wheels, so that makes it very similar to a light tram. It, I mean, it's not the same, it's quite different because it's larger than a regular bus. And this kind of transportation, to be honest, I haven't seen it before. I think here in Harbin is the first time I see something like this. Let's go inside and take a look to this kind of transportation. The first small rail system opened in Zhuzhou, China in 2017. It was developed by the China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, or CRRC, the largest mass transit manufacturer in China. The smart rail has been deployed in three cities so far, with several others under construction within China and across the world. Currently, this project is being taken to the United Arab Emirates, Malaysia, Israel and Australia and countries like Japan and the US have shown their interest in this new form of transportation. It is quite spacious as well, just like a tram. You have, of course, some seats. These spaces, I am assuming, is probably the wheels or maybe the batteries. I'm not sure I need to ask that uh, because this is like one, two, maybe three buses connected and put them together. Probably with, this is going to be the space where they store the batteries that will power up these kind of vehicles. Quite spacious. We can see on both ends, just like a subway train, we have the cabin where the driver will drive the train. So basically when it goes to the different ends, it doesn't need to turn around. It just stops on one end and the driver can go to the other side or the other tip of the train and driving in the other direction. 
this smart rail system is autonomously guided and it counts with sensors, cameras and stabilizing technology like controlled acceleration and active suspension systems, providing a smooth ride. It can also be taken over by a driver and run on any road like a regular bus, but generally it's supposed to follow a predetermined virtual track. The implementation of this kind of transportation is very clever. We save a lot of space, money, and uh, resources on building exclusive tracks or lanes for these kind of trains. But at the same time, we have a very similar mode of transportation, a mass transportation system that can connect more people to remote areas. The speed of this kind of train is up to 70 kilometers per hour and can connect in a fast speed different points of the city. I think we're gonna move. Uh, they're gonna take us to some place to give a try and see how smooth this ride could be. We're just gonna take a seat here to enjoy the ride. The smart rail system is an alternative that is faster than buses, but also less expensive and complex than subway systems. The cost per vehicle is 2.2 million US dollars, and the cost of the trackless tram is one fifth of the price of a traditional tram system per mile. It does pretty much what a light rail does, but is cheaper to build and operate. We are right now going through one of the lines that are part of this system, and something that got my attention. We don't see right now that much movement of people or businesses at this moment in this area. However, we notice a lot of buildings and areas under construction around, meaning that these kind of mass transport systems are being planned ahead of time. They know at some point in the next few years, there will be some areas more developed in this place meaning people will need some transportation to connect to the most populated areas of the city. They just build this to be prepared for those times. We can see a lot of buildings, actually a lot of developments under constructions all around this area. So I am assuming maybe in the next couple of years, the place will look very different from what we can see right now. And that's happening a lot in many big cities in China. We can see like the downtowns, they're already fully developed. There's no more space for construction, but the city is expanding and uh, they are building all these mass transportation systems to connect people that in the future will go there for living and working. Operating on a road can come with significant challenges. This massive transit system operates on roads with consistent traffic flow and designated lanes and has priority over cars. Stations are also walkable so people can have easy access to them. We just came right now to one of the several stations that are located all around the route. This kind of uh, transportation also have specifically designed stops just for them. But since Harbin is uh, one of the northern most cities in China, winter here can be rough. So they definitely need uh, this kind of indoor stations to protect people from these extreme weather conditions that you can face during winter here. We're talking up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. That is very cold. I think people who live here and use these kind of systems appreciate that. Uh, this is one of the stops. Of course, this kind of transportation is located in the very middle of the, one of the main roads in the city. So people have access just crossing a pedestrian area to have access to this stop. You can also tell that the architectural details and the design of the stops also are using very typical colors and design from this part of China. It's not so far from Russia, so the culture here has some similarities with uh, that part of the world. And you can tell that, you can notice that in all the buildings around us, including this stop here that is in the middle of the road. Safety is also an important factor to consider when implementing a new transport system. The smart rail combines technology such as image recognition and sensor fusion. If the trains deviate from the track or recognizes that an external object has invaded the vehicle boundary, 
it will immediately block the power and perform emergency braking to avoid accidents. It also comes with artificial intelligence capabilities. It operates with high precision positioning and automatic assisted driving to further ensure the stable operation on the road. With 5G capabilities, the Smart Rail can conduct real-time command and data monitoring, avoiding safety accidents and allowing the fastest speed when encountering abnormal situations. This part of the city looks a little bit more crowded than the other end. When we started this uh, trip, that part of the city was not so crowded or so developed, not many people, but here it looks definitely more developed. So I'm pretty sure the people who live here appreciate having these options for transportation and move all around the city. One of the most distinctive features of this type of transit system is where it can go. Because it follows lines on the road, the routes can be changed more easily than a light rail. The trackless train also uses a low floor structure. The height of the carriage from the ground is less than 33 centimeters, so it is more convenient for the elderly and children to get on and off the car. Passengers won't notice the wheels unless they look down. Folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.